your overall championship leader, Joe Warren Jr., is on the raceway. He is first to qualify because I believe he missed the entire practice session here today. In the Island Thrift Shop, Gershaw Recycling, number three from Rich, Joe Warren Jr. Seventeen point three four zero. Seventeen point three four zero. Lap number one for Joe Warren Jr. Your current championship point leader. Time trials here first today. Lap number two. Slows up to a seventeen point four one four. Seventeen four one four. But a seventeen point three four zero will be his time of record for today. So, up next, in the Fritz Motorsports, number 09, from Farmingville, Paulo Miguel. Bristol, Terry Fallon, calling the shots on this car. Paulo Miguel, a sweeper for Argentina. Paulo Miguel, his second or third race back here. 19.057, he'll need to pick it up just a tick. 19.057 for Paulo Miguel. Our only international figure eight campaigner, lap number two. He does, 18.645. Sorry, 615. Don't wanna lose those three one hundredths of a second. 18.615 for Paulo Miguel. Up next, he's in the couch racer. Northeastern office equipment, number two. Kathy Kraft, the car owner. This is Vinny Delaney out of Islip Terrace. Vinny Delaney, car number two, takes the green flag. Lap number one for Vinny Delaney, 17.810. Lap number one for Vinny Delaney, good enough for second quick. Lap number two. 17.477, nice pickup. 17.477 yeah. for Vinny Delaney. That's a nice job. Second quick to Joe Warren Jr. Up next in the exit realty, Alex Katz. Agency, number 99, from Ridge, this is Ryan Warren. Sable South Bay Auto Repair, number 99. I will be returning my Sable South Bay Auto Repair pace car on Tuesday. <laughs> I know you've had some good pace cars over the years. That's one of the best. Oh. I mean, the way the windshield wipe was <laughs> green flag. <laughs> Pray to God it doesn't rain tomorrow. <laughs> Did you put rain X on there? Ryan Warren. A little smoke out of the 99. Lap number one. 
No transponder on the 99. So his time will not count. No transponder. Can't help him on that one. Ryan Warren, no time. Up next, driving the East End Building, number 85, a third, the East Side Building, I apologize, East Side Building, number 85, a third generation driver, originally from Medford, now calls Riverhead home, Kim Hyde. Lap number one for Kim Hyde. 17.566, third quick good lap for Kim Hyde. And around she goes. Unfortunate, good first lap. A 17.566. Kim Hyde heads to the pit area. Car number 85. Up next. Potentially your 2022 Rookie of the Year in the figure eight stock cars. He steers the North Fork Welding Supply, number 29. He's also the reigning blunderbuss champion at a Bayshore, Cody Triola. Triola, obviously new to the figure eight division. Done a great job here in 2022. Track record 16.727, set by Kenny Hyde on May 21st this year. Good first lap, 17.484. 17.484. Third quickest, lap number two. Fast time, 17.176. Well, he sent it. 17.176, fast time for Cody Triola. Up next, it's been a emotional seven days for this young man who steers the Smoke Shack Barbecue, Pop and Play Daycare Center, number eight, out of Manorville. We really thought he'd garner his first win of his career this year, and he has two shots to do it still. This is Quilly, Brian Quilliam, out of Manorville. Brian Quilliam, a little loose on exit, out of turn number two. A 
17.659. Fifth quick, 17.659. Lap number one for Quilly. Big drive off here, let's see what he can do. Fast time, 17.123. Fast time for Quilly. Brian Quilliam, 17.123. Without question, a hair-raising experience for Brian Quilliam. Shut up, John. Up next, driving the Bobby's One Stop Automotive and Exhaust Systems, number 21. Big thanks to Bob Dalkey. Happy birthday to his son, Bryce, from former champion here at River Raceway, Kenny Hyde, Jr. Former Tom Rogers Jr., number 43. For Ken Hyde Jr. Lap number one for Kenny Hyde Jr. 17.274. 17.274. Good enough for third quick on his first lap. What will he do here on his second? Fast time, 17.064. 17.064 for Kenny Hyde Jr. Up next will be the reigning Suffolk Association of Figure 8 Racing and Riverhead Raceway. Figure 8 champion. He steers the Land, Air, Water, Environmental. Ben Vecchio owned, Benny Vecchio owned, number 27 from Shirley. Recently turned 50 years old. Happy milestone birthday to the driver, Scott Peterson. Your defending figure eight champion. Scully was fast here today in practice. Lap number one for Scott Peterson. Fast time, 16.877. 16.877, lap number one. He's within the shot here for the track record. Here comes Scott Peterson, lap number two. Oh, he just misses it. A 16.787. Six one hundredths of a second off the track record of Kenny Hyde. Fast time though, for Scott Peterson. Fresh off his Terry Fallon Adventures trip to Bristol Motor Speedway. The blind leading the blind on the raceway this is gary fritz jr out of mastic beach sponsor wanted for 2023 car he's won a few here oh 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 yeah that got away from him he sent it in there a ton though well maybe it's a throwaway lap 17.385. That's not a bad time, 17.385. Fast time, new track record, 
Oh, sorry, 16.6, zero, zero. Brand new track record, 16.6, zero, zero for Gary Fritz Jr. Wow. Top notch performance. SNH Welding. Check a one manufacturing. Number zero three from Santa Mauritius. Fastest car in practice for Alan Peterson. Peterson has been fast here all year. Third in the points coming into tonight's competition. Let's see what he does here. Lap number one for Alan Peterson. 17.146. 17.146. Good enough for fifth fastest time. What will he do here on lap number two? Second quick, 16.675. 16 16.675 for Alan Peterson, but Gary Fritz. Brand new track record in car number nine, finds himself on the pole. Blunderbust up next, starting on the pole, the Irish J Tattoos. Number 13 for Yapanks AJ DeSantis in the Irv Acardino Motorsports, number 13. To the outside pole, great job getting this car back together after crash last time out. Ferradino and Sons contracting number 51 for Tom Puccia. Pooch is out of Shirley. Starting third. Driving the Cracker Jack Auto Store is number 79 from North Belmore, Bill Wegman Sr. Starting fourth in the My Country 96.1, Full Smith Incorporated, number 10, Jim Laird Jr. out of Riverhead. Starting fifth in the Action Auto Wreckers, number 7, Massapequa, Tom Sullivan. And McCormick Motorsports, number 6, will start sixth from Ridge, Cassandra McCormick. Starting seventh, or slated to, but I believe he blew a motor in practice from Monk's Corner, South Carolina, the Timmy's Towing. Number 99 for Joshua Creel. Miller Triple Crown Series figure eight points going into the finale tonight. Gary Fritz Jr. 110, Alan Peterson 102, Kenny Hyde Jr. 94, Joe Warren Jr. 91, Alan Peterson loops around Vinnie Delaney for fifth at 86. So, for the overall championship in the figure eight, Steven, things have changed dramatically. A three-point lead that Joe Warren Jr. enjoyed over defending champion Scott Peterson has shrunk to one. 277 to 276. Alan Peterson is third with 268. Ryan Warren is fourth with 251. And Gary Fritz Jr. moves to fifth in the overall championship at 252.
Blunderbuss points. Overall championship. There are 32 points between Cody Triola and Eddie Diaz. When Cody Triola takes the green flag in heat number two, he will clinch for the second year in a row the Blunderbuss Championship. Caution lights rain out. Car number 13, A.J. DeSantis, and the 51 of Tom Puccia will lead this field around. Ten laps to be the distance, top four cars to qualify for tonight's feature event. A.J. DeSantis to the inside, Tom Puccia to the outside. They head to the East-West Management Go Zone. Good start for A.J. DeSantis, but here comes the 51. Pooch on the outside comes to the lead. Laird to the third spot. Cassandra McCormick to fourth. On the outside of Fred. 51 car, Puccia leads the way. A.J. DeSantis runs second. Now, Jim Laird with a move to the inside of A.J. DeSantis tries to come to position number two, and he will. Fred has come to the fourth spot. Turbo Tom Sullivan. Car number 51. Tom Puccia leads the way. Car number 13, A.J. DeSantis being shown the black flag. He's got fluid coming out the left rear of that car. Just been one of those years. Actually, two of those years. That's car number 10. Jim Laird Jr. now to the inside of Tom Puccia. Laird trying to get as many points as he can here as he sits third in the point standings to try and get to the second spot. No way he's gonna get to first here tonight, but he's side by side with Tom Puccia. Slides into the corner, drives out of turn number two and down the back stretch. With two to go this time by. Laird to the lead. Puccia tries to cross him over. But Laird on the top of the raceway will be able to drive off a of turn number two as they come to the white flag. Tom Sullivan sits third, fourth is Cassandra McCormick. White flag down for Jimmy Laird Jr. Jim Laird Jr. is gonna take down the win. Taking down the win in car number 10, it was Jim Laird Jr. second across the line, the 51 of Tom Pucci, a third. Car number seven of Turbo Tom Sullivan, fourth. Car number six, X of Cassandra Dennis. Up next, no, it's actually Cassandra McCormick, my apologies. Up next, blunderbust heat race number two with the starting lineup. It's Bob Fina, Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve, starting on the pole for heat number two for the blunderbusts. That is the Polish Prince. Joe Denseski from Riverhead. Hydro Action, number 49. The Kabasa King will start from the pole. To the outside pole, that is Bad Brad Bess. Car number 78. Starting third, driving the United Exhaust Shops. Number 58, Brandon Hubbard of Mastic. Opening night winner. Starting fourth, that's the Notorious Tattoos, number 18 for Eddie Diaz out of center reach. Starting fifth, 
you're defending and soon to clinch your second consecutive Blunderbuss Championship in the PCFI Cesspool Pros number 29 from Bayshore, Cody Triola, and starting sixth, Steve Neenan. A 32 point difference between Triola and Diaz for the championship. Once Cody takes the green flag, it's over. Green flag is out. Caution flag down. Joe Danseski may have gotten away a little too early. Perhaps has a box of pierogies taped to his right foot. He might. Might be holding him up. Or he's got too much coleslaw on the steering wheel. Make that sauerkraut. Something's going on. <laughs> it's a big problem. For He better give us kielbasa today. Right. No, they tried last week, but it was way too late in the night for me to do that. He'll try it again. Ten laps to be the distance. Top four cars to qualify. Brad Best afraid to hit the gas pedal. Or he is and nothing's happening. Maybe. But as we complete lap number one here, Cody Triola will become your 2022 blunderbuss champion. Yeah, he completes that lap and it is over. Cody Triola is your blunderbuss champion for 2022 and the second year running here at Rivet Raceway. Car number 49. Joe Danceski leads the way. 58 of Brandon Hubbard sits second. Triola is third to fourth. The 18 of Eddie Diaz. Top four cars will qualify. Danceski squaring up in the corners. Turn uh, that guy, Hubbard. In the 58. Trying Hubbard. To, he's trying to size him up. Hubbard has proclaimed, I don't like Kielbasa. <laughs> Halfway this time by. Five laps into this 10 lap tilt. Danceski feeling the heat from the 58 of Hubcap. Brandon Hubbard. Triola. Into the back of the 58, moves him up the raceway and opens the door for himself. Triola now tries the inside of car number 58. Brandon Hubbard unable to make that pass as the 49 of smoking Joe Denseski continues to lead the way. Seven laps into this event. Two to go this time by for Denseski. Eddie Diaz in car number 18 to the outside of the 29 comes to third. Denseski gets the two to go. The 18 gets into the 58 just enough as they come to the white flag. Well, you got to wonder if Denseski ran the whole season, if he'd be in the hunt for the championship. Oh, he might be. It's one of those, you drive my car, I'll drive yours. As Denseski is in the Jack Handley owned number 49. Jack Hanley drives the Denseski on number 45 modified. But he's going to take down a checkered flag and we're never going to hear the end of it. Checkered flag flies for the Polish Rocket. Joe Denseski. Second across the line, car number 58. Brandon Hubbard, third of the 18 of Eddie Diaz and fourth. Your 2022 blunderbuss champion, car number 29. Cody Triola. Yeah, after qualifying blunderbuss points, your 2022 champion, Cody Triola, 357. Eddie Diaz, 326. 31 points. There are not enough cars here. The battle will be for second between Diaz at 326, Jim Laird at 321. That's the battle that will rage here tonight. Up next, INEX Legend Cars about to hit the raceway and with the starting lineup for heat race number one, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. 
from West Islip, starting on the pole, the Hardman's Electric, number 92 for Ed Statlander. To the outside pole from Belmore, it's Charlie Hodge. Hodge at the keyboards of the Sea Pro Marine Dock Builders, number 20. Through the efforts of Riley O'Keefe, who rebuilt two damaged cars this week, starting third, that's the Get Clear Crystal Clear Window Clean, number 44, for Pat Moore at a Riverhead. Starting fourth, one here earlier this year, in the Quackenbush Cesspools, Bistry Materials, number 62, from East Hampton, Michael Benton. In the Papa Carmine's Hot Peppers, number 41, starting fifth, a two-time winner this year, Blankets, Joey Braun, Braun out of Manorville. A Manorville neighbor will start alongside him in row number three, driving the aforementioned Get Clear, Crystal Clear Window Clean, number 42, from Manorville, Riley O'Keefe. The driver who could clinch the championship here tonight. Silver Fox Racing number 27. The Grillin Villain number 27. For Comax, Eric Hersey will start seventh. Starting eighth. Driving car 54, Billy King Jr. Progressive Mover 05, Mark Gardnick will start ninth. And the bar car, Race Dolls, will start tenth. I know Sludge and Race Cars, 10 laps to be the distance. Top four to be handicapped for tonight's feature event. Top six will make the feature. And Charlie Hodge leads him out of turn number four and lead lap number one. Mike Benton, car number 62 to the inside. Comes to position number two, but here comes the 42 of Riley O'Keefe. O'Keefe to the outside of Mike Benton will take over that second spot and bring Blankets Joey Braun with him to third. Charlie Hodge, car number 20, continues to set the pace. Riley O'Keefe dives to the inside in car number 42. He'll be there. O'Keefe to the inside. Hodge to the outside. O'Keefe and Blankets Joey Braun march to the front. O'Keefe to the lead, and here comes Braun. Joey Braun to the inside of Charlie. Hodge comes to third, to second. Hodge to third. Eric Hersey to the inside of Mike Benton, trying to get to that fourth and final qualified spot. And he will. Benton is fifth. Pat Moore sixth. Car number 42. Leads the way. Riley O'Keefe. Seven laps down, three remain. He is feeling the heat from the 41 of Blankets Joey Braun. Braun looking to the inside, unable to make the pass. He's there again. O'Keefe tries to crowd him as they come to the white flag this time by. Riley O'Keefe, your race leader. Blankets, Joey Braun is second. Charlie Hodges, third. Eric Hersey, fourth. Problems with the bar car. Ray stalls. He gets back underway as they come to the checkered. It's going to be the 42 car. Taking down the win in car number 42 was Riley O'Keefe. Second across the line, car number 41 of Blankets, Joey Braun, third. The 27 of Eric Hersey, fourth, the 20 of Charlie Hodge, fifth, car number 62, Mike Benton, and sixth, the 44 of Pat Moore. Up next, Legend Heat Race number two with the starting lineup. It's Bob Fine and Bobby. Right now, going into further qualifying, Eric Hersey, 28 point lead over Richie Davidowitz. That is not enough to clinch, trust me. Starting on the pole, the Hitman Collision, number 14 for Jaden Glenister out of Rivet. Starting to the outside pole, StickyThings.com, number three, wants to wish his girl Tracy a happy belated birthday. That's V Ride Mike Van Houten of Jane Sports. Starting third, Check One Manufacturing, number 21 from Riverhead, Jake Curran. Starting fourth, that's Jeff Ferrugia Jr., the AJ Painting. Chris Moore Landscaping, number 18 out of Riverhead. Starting fifth, 
CNC Collision, number 48, for the driver who won the B main here last Saturday, Robert Hennig in the third out of Shirley. Starting sixth in the Benamax Trucking, number 71, Nick Morbido, Miller Place. Three time feature event winner in the M3 Technology, number 10, will start seventh from Shirley, Jason Castaldo. The Ocean Graphics, number 82, will start eighth from East Hampton, Kim Danielle. Donald Duran will start ninth in the number 93. And with the assistance of Southampton Collision and Dan Giovanelli from Southampton starting 10th, that's Peter Fallon. Jaden Glenister, V Rod, lead him to the East West Management Go Zone. V Rod powers by on the outside in car number three. Coming off a sixth place finish here last Saturday night in the 3V. Feeling a little confident right now as he leads lap number one. Mike Van Houten, Jr., your race leader. Car number 71, Nick Morbido to second. Third is the 18, Jeff Ferruccia, Jr. Fourth is Jake Curran. Here comes Morbido to the inside of V-Ride. V-Ride, though, pedaling on the outside in car number 3V. He'll continue to hold the lead. Three laps into this event. Morbido, with a good run that time by, will come to the lead. Mike Van Houten Jr. to second. Third is the 21 car of Jake Curran. He'll feel the heat to the inside from Jason Castaldo. Castaldo with a good move on the bottom of the raceway. Curran awful loose in car number 21. Trying to hang on to that thing as Jeff Ferrugia Jr. gets to the back bumper. Seventy-one. Nick Morbido, your race leader. V ride. Mike Van Houten Jr. runs second. Third is. Jason Castaldo as he heads to the inside of the 3V. Van Houten gives up that spot as he sits third. Fourth is car number 21 of Jake Curran. Ferrugia and Henninger also qualified, not handicapped. Two to go. For the 71, Nick Morbido. He'll get the white flag this time by. It's car number 10. Jason Castaldo sits second. V-Ride is third. Fourth is Jake Curran. Fifth, Ferrugia. So they come to the checker. Checkered flag flies, taking down the win in car number 71. It was Nick Morbido, second across the line. Car number 10, Jason Castaldo, third. Car number 3V of Mike Van Houten Jr. Fourth to 21 of Jake Curran. Fifth, car number 18, Jeff Ferruccia Jr. And sixth, car number 48, Robert Henninger. Up next, legend, heat race number three. With the starting lineup, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve. Starting on the pole, the Hilltop Bagel, number 51, out of Holbrook, Kevin Ornberger. To the outside pole, the Drexler Construction, number 88, for West Hempstead's Chris Sinatra, starting third in the Terra Vitae, North Fork Vineyards and Winery, number nine. That's Chase Van Houten out of Jamesport. Starting fourth, Joe Ryan Race Cars, number two for Jim Sylvester out of Massapequa. He has borrowed a car out of Benton Motorsports for competition here tonight after a heavy crash last week. He steers the Bishery Materials. Quackenbush Cesspools, number 33, from Riverhead, Anthony Marsh. He'd like to thank his own sponsors, GT Power Solutions and Riverhead Trailer. Currently second in the championship standings in the Freddie and Megan Craft, sponsor number 25 from East Mauritius, Richie Davidowitz. Last Saturday's winner, E.P. Milligan Sweeping, number 24, Ray Fitzgerald of Manorville starts seventh. Rich Bourne of East Lyson. Michael Collier, Kyle Owen, round out the field. Green flag is out. From Bruce Knoll. 
Chris Sinatra, like he's done in the last five weeks, takes off to lead this event. Car number two, Jim Sylvester is second, third, the 25 of Richie Davidowitz. To fourth, car number 24, Ray Fitzgerald. The battle is for fifth. Chase Van Houten in car number nine. Kevin Ornberger, car number 51. Battling now with the 33 of Anthony Marsh. Car number 88. Chris Sinatra leads the way. The 25 car. Richie Davidowitz is second. Ray Fitzgerald is third. Fourth is Jimmy Sylvester. Fifth, Chase Van Houten. Sixth, Anthony Marsh. Davidowitz now to the inside of Sinatra. Davidowitz with a good run out of turn number two. Trying to get as many points as he can here tonight. So he tries to make his way to the race lead. And he does. He'll bring Ray Fitzgerald with him in car number 24. Ray Fitzgerald with a good move to the inside comes to the lead. Davidowitz is second. Third is Jim Sylvester. Fourth is Chris Sinatra. Sinatra, though, feeling the heat from Chase Van Houten. As Kyle Elwood has made it to the sixth spot as the white flag comes out. White flag down for Ray Fitzgerald. Records will fly. Taking down the win. Car number 24. Ray Fitzgerald second across the line. Richie Davidowitz third. Car number two of Jimmy Sylvester fourth. Car number 88 of Chris Sinatra. And fourth, I make that fifth. I don't know if it was Kyle Elwood or Chase Van Houten. They were close at the end. But they round out your top six. Legend Championship, 24 points between Eric Hersey and Richie Davidowitz, 636 to 612. In the mix is the 33 of Marsh. That car did not look up the snuff here today. He did get the provisional though. So up next, Super Pro Trucks to hit the raceway with the starting lineup. Let's go to Bob Finan, Bobby. One heat race, pay points for the championship. Starting on the pole will be Frank Dumajic Sr. of East Quag, the Arendt Heating and Air Conditioning, <coughs> number five. Starting the outside pole, that's the Lighthouse Propane, number 17 of Joe Cherubino out of Bayshore. In the Atlantic Auto West, number 42, starting third, Mark Stewart, the real deal, out of Riverhead. Starting fourth, he and his wife Tracy put up the Joe DeGange Crew Chief of the Race Award here tonight. I'd like to say a personal thank you to them for a nice card to say thank you tonight. Driving the Hunter Business Schools, number one, Lou Maestri out of Deer Park. You're potentially champion, and actually, quite frankly, with the amount of trucks here tonight, he clinches the 2022 Super Pro Truck Championship in the LTE Drainage, Rittenhouse Properties. Deer Run Industries, number 77. He takes the green here. He's your champion, Sean Glennon of Northport. Starting sixth, the reigning champion coming into this season in the Riverwalk Bar and Grill. In the Eastside Builders, Andre Vega owned number 18. Jack Hanley Jr. Medford, the bullet, Ethan Brown, the Foos Fire, number 25, is back with us from college. And starting eight, driving to number 78, Rob Corwin in his effort to go after the rookie of the year.
So getting ready to go. Getting ready to go. Truck number five, Frank Dumacic Sr. to the inside. Joe Cherubino to the outside. It may be the oldest front row we've ever had here. As they head to the East-West Management Go Zone. Green flag in the air. Dumacic with a good run down the back straight away. He'll feel the heat uh, from the bumper of Mark Stewart as the real deal in truck number 42 comes to the second spot. We're going to put on eBay short strawberry Twizzlers. Short ones. Because Finding can't take them all out of the bag. But truck number five. I'm not used to anything long. <laughs> right to what you've seen here. Leads the way. Three laps in. Mark Stewart is second, third, your championship leader, winner, truck number 77, Sean Glennon, fourth, the 17 of Joe Cherubino. Lots of pizza coming out of that 17 truck. Halfway this time by. Nice job by Frank Dumacic Sr. to lead thus far. I noticed last week on the Flow Racing broadcast, I must have said thus far 65 times because it was early in the race. That's a, a word I got to get rid of, I think. But anyway, seven laps into this one, Frank Dumacic Sr. walking the dog right now. Two to go this time by. This could be the best he's run in years in truck number five. Mark Stewart second, third is Sean Glennon, fourth, Joe Cherubino as they come to the white. Do you think Stewart's actually going to try to pass him? No. I don't think he can catch him. The old man's got that thing hooked up. Oh, man, he's younger than me. Like I said, the old man's got that thing hooked up. He'll come to the checkered here. Frank Dumacic Sr. Great job in that one by the driver of truck number five, Frank Dumacic Sr. Second across the line, Mark Stewart. Third, the 77, Sean Glennon. And fourth, truck number 17 of Joe Cherubino. Congratulations to Sean Glennon. He is your 2022 Riverhead Raceway Super Pro Truck Champion. Up next, Eagle. Auto Mall Crate Modifieds with the starting lineup. For heat race number one, let's go to Bob Fina, Bobby. On the pole from Shirley, it's the EP milling and sweeping number eight, Mark Wolf, Wolfie. To the outside pole. Driving the fine design masonry. Stakey's Pumpkin Farm, make sure you get your pumpkins at Stakey's Pumpkin Farm as we lead up to Halloween. That's Islip Terrace's V. Delaney. The Casola Motorsports, number 90 out of New Jersey, will start third, DJ Doyle. Starting fourth, Vanguard Fire Protection, number 16 out of Selden, Alex Colasanto. Strong Oil, Comfort Farm Stand, number 27, will start fifth, AJ DeSantis. DeSantis is out of Yapang. Starting sixth in the Dillner Precast, for Kenty Construction, number 38 from Glen Cove. He will clinch. Well, I mean, so, yeah, he will clinch the championship by starting this heat race. That is Owen Grennan of Glencove, starting seventh. Benamax Trucking, number 77 for Nick Marbino of Miller Place. Ken Massa, Kenneth Massa, on M3 Technology, number 51, will start eighth, starting ninth. 
in the Coleman Racing. High end collision number zero, Jason Agugliero, and the CHM Landscapes number seven for Southampton's Charles McWinney will start 10th. Caution flag down indicating that the two hot laps have been completed. Eagle, Autumn All Crate Modifieds, 10 laps to be the distance. Top four will qualify. Vinny Delaney to the outside of Mark Wolf. Problems for the 90. He locked up the left front brake. Almost took out your point leader. Owen Grennan. Vinny Delaney, car number 46, your race leader to the eighth. Mark Wolf to second, third spot. Car number 16, Alex Colasanto, and to fourth, the 38 of Owen Grennan. Richie Davidowitz is not in this event. I don't know why I called his name. A.J. DeSantis to the fifth spot. Ken Massa Jr., nice job. On the outside to six, here comes the 38 now. Brennan, with a bold move to the inside of the 16. Alex Colasanto. Brennan to the third spot. Colasanto to fourth. Here comes A.J. DeSantis. DeSantis right to the rear bumper of Colasanto. He's trying to get to that fourth and final qualified position. DeSantis with a look to the inside. Colasanto giving him plenty of room in car number 16. DeSantis unable to make the pass. Two to go this time by for your race leader, Vinny Delaney. In car number 46. Mark Wolf is second, third. It's car number 38 of Owen Grennan. Here comes the 27th. A.J. DeSantis to the inside for fourth. Good run for DeSantis again. Checkers will fly. Checkered flag flies, taking down the win in car number 46. Vinny Delaney second across the line, the eight of Mark Wolf third, the 38 of Owen Grennan in fourth, car number 27. Good run for A.J. DeSantis. Up next, Eagle, Auto Mall, Crate Modified, Heat Race number two. With the starting lineup, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve Halpin, starting on the pole. Big thank you to some of the swag to take with me down in Florida. To the driver of the can materials, Gershaw Recycling number 12, Dennis Krupski of Calverton. To the outside pole, the Hydro Action, Number 66. Max Hanley, Mad Max Hanley out of Medford will start to the outside pole, starting third. GS Trucking, number 41. Terry Styles, the Styles Files out of Rocky Point. 
Starting fourth, the Utopia Bagels, number six, out of Bayside, the King of Queens, Mike Aldessini. Starting fifth, M3 Technology Pro Diesel Drifters Kitchen and Bar, number nine, Michael Burner. Burner is out of Patchogue. Starting sixth, currently second in the championship chase. He's in the Black Forest Automotive. Number nine, uh, number 55, excuse me. That is Chase Grennan. Grennan, with a big thanks to John Kirk as well. Two outlaps. Dennis Krupski. Dennis Krupski, Mad Max Hanley, bring him around. Hanley with a good start to the top side of the raceway. Look to bring his car owner with him as Terry Styles goes three wide. Styles to the inside of Krupski. Terry Styles to the second spot. Man on a mission here tonight. Looks to the inside of Mad Max Handley. The 66 car, Max Handley leads the way. Terry Styles is second. Third is Dennis Krupski. The battle is for fourth. Michael Burner to the inside. Mike Almasini to the outside. Halfway this this time by. Hanley feeling the heat from Terry Styles. Michael Burner to the back bumper, Dennis Krupski. He's looking for a way around him. Chase Grennan, Kyle Elwood. Problems for Matt Brody. Caution flag down for car number 96, Matt Brody. As he went around. Good start to this event for car number 66, Max Hanley. Steve, like the rookie I am, starting seventh in this event to Shelby's Kitchen. Number 18, Eric Hersey. Kyle Elwood. True Value Hardware Cinema Riches. Garone Paving. Number 35. Happy birthday to Maverick. Scott Dennis, Chroma's Market, 29 starts ninth, and Matthew Brody. That is Shaw Mechanical, number 96. 
Green flag is out once again. Seven laps down. Oh, problems with your leaders. Terry Styles into the back of the 66. Bundled everybody up. Krupski back to second. Michael Berner with a tire rub as they come to the white flag. Problems for Kyle Elwood. As he heads to the infield with a left front flat tire. Max Hanley is pulled away. Krupski is second. The battle is for third. It's going to be Styles. What a wild finish taking down the win in car number 66. Mad Max Hanley second across the line. Dennis Krupski third. Terry Styles in fourth to 55 of Chase Grennan. Up next, late models to hit the raceway with the starting lineup for heat race number one. It's Bob Fine and Bobby. Great modified championship has been clinched by Owen Grennan. He's 20 and make that 31 points the better of his brother, Chase Grennan, 605 to 574 after qualifying. They are locked pretty much into the top two. The battle will be third between A.J. DeSantis and Michael Burner. 555 for DeSantis, 548 for Burner. Late model heat number one. Better on a bagel, number 67, the P.C. Richardson Sons. Entry for Scott Cheslack. Will start on the pole. The outside pole, the Grattan's air conditioning and heating, number 32 for Paul Cummings. Out of Southampton, starting third, driving the Lolly's Hut, number 06, from Manorville, Rusty Turbish. Starting fourth, the Chubbs Meat Market, Roberts Asphalt, number five, for Alyssa Pat Rocky, she at a Rocky Point. Starting fifth, the Complete Well and Pump, number 23, and a Massapequa former two-time champion, Kevin Metzger. Racing tonight with a heavy heart, Driving car number 15, that is Jerry G. Ordano, Marino Prodan, uh, the godfather to Jerry G. Ordano, passed away, and they will race for him tonight. Chris McGuire, the Gershaw Recycling, number 89, will start seventh out of Selden. Championship contender Jimmy Rennick Jr. Metropolitan Recycling, number seven out of Howard Beach, will start eighth, starting ninth. Driving the number 42, the professional physical therapy entry is Frank Dimizic Jr. Out of East Quag, and championship leader Sean Patrick out of Brightwaters. Matlack Fabricating, number 88, will start 10th. Caution flag down, indicating that the hot laps have been complete. Hey, big news, Tony Ferrante Jr., little Tony, as we call him, wins the vintage all-star race at the 49th annual Napa Fall Final today at Stafford Motor Speedway. Good for you, little Tony. Great job. Late model points coming to qualifying here tonight. Sean Patrick with a 13-point lead over Jimmy Rennick Jr., 199 to 186 for the track title. Brandon Turbish, third, 178. Chris McGuire, fourth, 167. Radiant Rain Maneri, fifth, with 166. We'll try to keep you updated as we go along. Paul Cummings to the inside. Good run at Evergreen Raceway Park last week, did Paul. Rusty Turbish, car number 06. He had a better run. To the outside. Alyssa Paprocki, Kevin Metzger, make up row number two. 
Top four cars to qualify. Green flag is out, car number 06. Six, car number 06, Rusty Temperature race leader, Kevin Metzger. Car number 23 to second to third. Caution flag down. Caution came out for debris on the front stretch. They're saying it's under a car. was a debris caution. The issue is the debris may now be stuck under one of these cars. Great turnout, Steve Halpin, for 19 late models here tonight. Nice job by the late models all season. As they've been 19 to 20 cars strong, every opportunity. That debris may be stuck under the 15 at Jerry Giordano. And he got it. He got, got it out of there. Good. Good job. Otherwise, he was going to have to go to the pits. Good eye by Jim Kelly to, dis to spot the debris. Because if he doesn't, and it flies out from underneath the 15, our championship contenders, and with 19 cars here, that's an available 38 points, which keeps the top three. Oh, top, four, top five in the mix. Oh, yeah, it's tight. It is a tight point battle. Car number 06, Rusty Turbisher, race leader. 23, Kevin Metzger is second. The 89, Chris McGuire third. Jimmy Rennick Jr. to fourth. Those are your top four qualified cars currently. As Bruce Knoll points to the East-West Management Go Zone. Anybody with a snow shovel? Oh, stop. I never turned it on. You did. Kevin Metzger, outside of row number one, Rusty Turbish to the inside. Chris McGuire, Jimmy Rennick make up row number two. Jerry Giordano and your point leader, Sean Patrick, fifth and sixth. Great game of possum by Rusty Turbish. Turbish with a good restart. Rusty at 25 time, Charger winner and Cromartie Wall, a champion inductee for those 25 wins. He is now throwing a block better than Lawrence Taylor ever did. Turbish to your lead. McGuire to second, the battle is for third. Jimmy Rennick Jr. Car number seven to the third spot. Kevin Metzger is fourth. Rusty Turbish, car number 06, your race leader. Seven laps in. Second is the 89 of Chris McGuire. Third to seven of Jimmy Resnick Jr. That's what someone in the field calls him, Resnick. <laughs> Rennick to the inside of McGuire. Thinks better of it. 
23 car. His third, uh, fourth make it, Kevin Metzger. 15 gets loose. As they come to the white flag, Rennick picks up another point as he gets to the inside of the 89 car, Chris McGuire. Checkered flag flies, taking down the winning car number 06 was Rusty Turbish, second across the line, car number seven of Jimmy Rennick Jr., third, the 89, Chris McGuire, fourth, car number 23 of Kevin Metzger. Up next, late model heat race number two with the starting lineup. It's Bob Finder, Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve Houghton, starting on the pole. The Foos Fire, number 73, out of Ronkonkoma, Brian Doyle. To the outside pole, the Chubbs Meat Market, number 99, for Ed Cheslack out of Rocky Point. The Metal Masters, number 61, will start third. That's the Rocket, Russ Jansen out of Medford. Starting fourth, driving the Eastport Feeds. Number 70, Brian Brown out of Calverton. Starting fifth, driving the number 98 opening night feature event winner, the JDL Environmental Coors Light Silver Bullet for the Fancy Farmer Dave Brigatti out of Calverton. Starting sixth, driving the Meadowbrook Collision. Hometown Taxi, number 43, from Bayshore, Radiant Ray Maneri. Starting seventh, driving the Lolly's Hut, number 17, from Manorville, Brandon Turbish. Starting eighth, driving car number 25, the Foos Fire. Entry for the real deal, Mark Stewart at Riverhead. Starting ninth, welcome back, his first start of the year. In the Eastport feeds, number 10 with his son, Cam, his wife, Jessica, rooting him on. It's Jeremy McDermott out of Riverhead. I'm going to do some quick math on the points. Ten points will separate Sean Patrick and Jimmy Rennick for the title. 200 to 190. Tiebreaker is wins. They both have one win each. Yes, so we go down to seconds. Two hot laps and we'll be back. Bruce No points to the start finish line. Ten laps to be the distance, top four cars will qualify for tonight's feature event. Ryan Doyle on the inside of row number one, Chess Edlack, better known as Ed Cheslack, to the outside of row number one as well. Green flag flies. Doyle spins the tires. Cheslack on the outside trying to come to lead. Here comes Doyle back on the inside. Cheslack will lead lap number one. Brian Doyle, car number 73 is second. Russ Jansen in the 61 car feeling the heat to the outside from car number 70 of Brian Brown. Brown rim riding the outside in car number 70. Looking to get that car to the third spot. Remember, top four handicap for tonight's feature event. 
Brigatti peeking to the inside of the 61. Problem here is guys who are not in the championship chase are in the top three of the event right now, sucking up all the big points. Yeah. Throw the top five are doing it. This is not good for Brandon Turvish. No. Ed Cheslack, car number 99, your race leader, the 73 of Brian Doyle. As second, the battle is for third, as Brian Brown is to the outside of the 61 of Russ Jansen. Jansen battles back here again on the inside. No give up attitude in car number 61. Russ Jansen to the third spot. Maneri getting impatient behind Brown. Brandon Turbis trying to follow Dave Brigatti as they get the two to go. Russ Jansen gets loose that time off the bumper of the 70 car. 17 has a hood hanging off. Yeah, he's in trouble. It's in, well, I guess he can still see. Happens a lot to those cars. That's why you have a, yeah, you know, you're right. Second time this year. Checkered will fly for Eddie Cheslack. Who got? Checkered flag flies, taking down the win in car number 99. Good run for Ed Cheslack. Brian Doyle, equally good run, run second. Russ Jansen, third and fourth. Car number 70. That, of course, Brian Brown. So, so the issue here now, late model points after qualifying, Sean Patrick by 10 over Jimmy Rennick Jr. 200 to 190. Brandon Turbish third, 179. Chris McGuire fourth with 170. Radiant Raymond Airy fifth with 167. NASCAR modifies. It is a 21 point, 22 point advantage for Kyle Soper going into qualifying here tonight. Starting on the pole, Cesspool Pros number 69, Jason Gugliera at Isla. To the outside pole, driving car number double zero, the Coors Light Silver Bullet double zero for Chris Rogers. Chris Rogers at a patch off. Starting third, the Durodyne. Check on one manufacturing number zero one for Audie Peterson, the third, out of Santa Maria. Starting fourth, driving car number 98, the Coors Light Silver Bullet. Entry, Dave Brigatti. Well, Fancy Farmer out of Calverton. Starting fifth, driving the D. Giovanni Brothers Landscaping. Petra Home Services, number 96, from East Islip, Matthew Brody. Looking to clinch his fourth championship over the last five years. Here at Revent Raceway, starting sixth, the Eastport Feed Chevrolet for Kyle Soper out of Manorville. Starting seventh, driving the Eastport Feeds, number 70, Brian Brown, Adam Calverton. Starting eighth, the Ken Mack Motorsports, Sponsor wanted for 2023, number four for Owen Grennan. Modified points, congratulations to Kyle Soper, who has won and clinched the 2022 New York State Championship for the NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series. But here, the championship is still in flux. 22 points of the difference between he on the strength of three wins with 501. Dylan Sleppy in second. With 479, Slep has also won three times. John Beattie Jr. is third with 457. Dave Brigatti fourth with 411. Chris Young fifth with 402. Car number 70, Brian Brown makes it out here, as does the 98 of Dave Brigatti. They were both in the previous heat race for the late models. 
12 laps to be the distance for the tour cars. Two hot laps and we'll be back. Caution flag down indicating that the two hot laps have been completed. Twelve laps. Top four to be handicapped for tonight's feature event. Jason Aguilero, your pole sitter, has elected to start on the outside of row number one. So he'll fire first as they head to the east-west management go zone. So a Gugliero, Chris Rogers, lead him around. Good start for a Gugliero. Here comes Chris Rogers on the bottom. Dave Brigatti, car number 98. Immediately to the third spot and to the outside. Oh, Rogers goes around. He and Brigatti get together. And your point leader's in there. Disaster strikes Hurley. For the 2022 New York State Modified Champion. Now, I believe there is a trailer with an extra car for Kyle Soper here. Brigatti, left front suspension damage on the Coors Light Silver Bullet. So the drama starts early. May have started between teammates. Oh, Gugliero's been struggling all day with the 69 car. Okay. That's why he elected to start on the outside because it's it's been really tight. Hey, guess so when what? They, when they got into three and four, a Gugliero was up high, had to lift, otherwise he would have went through the fence. This might not be a bad deal for Kyle. Sober. It might just be a bumper. I, I think that he might have gotten a submarine by Matthew Brody. Right yeah. front flat for Brody, it appears. Yeah, it looks like all four tires have air in them. Yeah, could be good for the 15. Let's not say good, we'll say not bad for the 15. Well, not as bad as I thought it originally was. I mean, he just kind of stopped. Yeah, he'll drive away. Where's that golden horseshoe? <laughs> <laughs> In I mean, that was that could have been catastrophic. And I'm, I'm not so sure that Brody has a right front flat. But he's got damage. Because the Brigani Brothers Automotive, yeah, there's something wrong with the left front suspension on the car. Soper wisely has taken the 15 to the pit area. Why not? He's going to have to go. No, he's there. He's on the raceway. Well, I'm sorry. Brigani to the pits. Brigatti to the pits. And the double zero. You know, Brigatti, when the 69 slowed up, Brigatti was already in there. And I don't know if he made contact with the double zero. Kind of had nowhere to go, or unless he would have drove through the 69 car. And he kind of just dipped down between the two of them and made slight contact.
So the Brody 96 <laughs> moved to the Perry. It is 14 degrees in this tower. It is not. It's beautiful. beautiful up the here. Twizzlers it's are beautiful. now ice pops. Dude, it's beautiful up here. Always complaining. Thank God I only got two more races of this. <laughs> True. So the Brody 96 day you see on Flow Racing during our Miller Light caution flag, going to the attention of his crew, which is one short because his father Howie is getting ready to qualify in heat number two. So, the implications. Uh, it's way early. There's no laps complete. Are right now non-existent. Unless you're Dave Brigatti, who is trying to hold on to fourth over Chris Young. Brigatti with 411. Young with 402. So, if Brigatti only gets a point from this heat race, and then Young can get a few points they'll be tighter for that fourth spot going into the feature event. Looks like Brigatti's not going to make it back out. Congratulations to Ron Silk. Silk has won the open modified event well, good for him. at the Stafford Motor Speedway. So In the Ron 16 Silk. car? do not know what car. That would be their first win together if he was able to pull that off in the Taylor Height. Is that how you say it? Taylor Height number 16? Phil Moran. Because it's so cold up here now, I now look like the Undertaker. It's really not that cold. Holy crap. I look like the Undertaker. There he is, the Grim Reaper. Joe Corsetti, who broke the news for us, and let me give him credit, said indeed that Silk was in the 16. Flew on a raceway, and, and the best in my two or three weeks of doing this would tell me is maybe when the left front got kicked back on the Coors Light Silver Bullet of Dave Brigatti. Brake line may have broken. That could be brake fluid on the raceway.
Jason Agugliaro, Cesspool Pros, number 69. Your, your event leader. Still zero laps down. Well, yeah, he's not actually the event leader. He'll start from the front row. Thank you. AP3, Artie Peterson the third to the inside. Jason Agugliero, car number 69 to the outside. So Dave Brigatti will lose. He'll be credited with one point for this event. He did take the initial green flag, so that's 412. Chris Young now 10 behind him for fourth. Brian Brown starts third. Chris Rogers back to fourth. Top four will qualify. Good start for a Gugliero in the 69. Chris Rogers. Heads to the outside in car double zero. Artie Peterson the third is third. Kyle Soper to fourth. Soper with a peek to the inside of Peterson. Peterson holds the third spot. As Jason Aguilero continues to lead the way. Chris Rogers is second. Third is the 0-1 of Artie Peterson the third, but he's got a mirror full of Kyle Soper, who now heads to the outside. Five down, seven to go. Soper would at least like to get to second to maximize the heat race points. Halfway this time by for Gugliero. Soper now to third. Soper now to the inside. So good at a move off two, Steve. But Rogers shuts the door. He was able to come back on the high side of the raceway and hold the ball. Nice job by Chris Rogers, the JDL environmental number double zero. And I think Soper now will cool his heels a little bit here. Two to go this time by for a Google arrow. White flag down for Jason Agugliero. Checkered will fly this time by for Jason Agugliero. In for the win in car number 69. Jason Agugliero, second across the line, double zero. Chris Rogers, third, the 15 of Kyle Soper, and fourth. Car number zero one of Artie Peterson the third. So Kyle Sober gets three points out of the event. 504 to Dylan Slepian's 479. 25 point difference. Up next, heat number two starting on the pole. Driving. The Lolly's Hut, B and M moving in storage number 81 from Waiting River, Chris Turbish making a debut with the team that he'll drive for on the 2023 NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour Circuit. Starting at the outside pole, R.G. Hahn and Sun Fuel Oil, Rivet Bill Supply number 46 from Manorville's Justin Brown. Starting third, he is in the CPC Pharma Cal number 49, Chris Young out of Calverton. Starting fourth, the Mark Esmina owned MSM Elite Motorsports number five for John Beatty Jr. out of Merritt. Starting fifth, car number 10, that's Eastport Feeds. 
My guy Napa Auto Parks number 10 for Dix Hills, Dylan Slepian. Starting sixth, won his first career feature event here a couple weeks ago in the Joe Denseski owned Hydro Action number 45, Jack Hanley Jr. of Medford. In the Kennedy Long Island Realty number 43, starting seventh, Eric Zaya Selden and Howie Brody. Peter Clark Motorsports number 86 will start eighth. Caution flag is out. Two hot laps have been completed. We're almost nearing the end of our qualifying procedures here this afternoon. Car number 46, Justin Brown to the inside. Turbish has chosen the outside, Steve. Chris Turbish chooses the outside of row number one. 12 laps to be the distance, top four cars to qualify. Be handicapped for tonight's feature event. Slepian in the 10 needs to gain as many points as he can. Green flag is out, good start for Turbish. Chris Turbish leads lap number one, here comes John Beatty Jr. Car number five to the outside, he brings Jack Hanley Jr. with him. Jr. to the outside. Of the 46, oh, Justin Brown tried to get up to the top side of the raceway. Almost ended the evening for Dylan Slepian in car number 10. Jack Hanley Jr. with a march to second. So trying to run down Chris Turbish, who leads the way in car number 81. Hanley is second, third is the five. John Beatty Jr., fourth, car number 46 of Justin Brown. With Soper not able to get the maximum amount of points in heat number one, Slepian may be squandering an opportunity here, sitting fifth in this heat race. And under attack for that fifth spot by sixth place Chris Young. He's trying to work it out. It's just not, not going forward for Slepian. Chris Turbish continues to set the pace. Eight laps into this 12 lap event. Jack Hanley Jr. runs second. John Beatty Jr. is third. Fourth is the 46 car of Justin Brown. Two to go this time by for Turbish. Hanley's starting to reel him in. Jack Hanley Jr. to the rear bumper, Chris Turbish. He'll look to the inside. Out of turn number four as they come to the white. Hanley's there. Turbish gives him the room. Hanley will send it in one last time, but Chris Turbish will take down the win. Taking down the win in car number 81, it was Chris Turbish second across the line. The 45 of Jack Hanley Jr. Third, car number five of John Beatty Jr. And fourth, car number 46. That, of course, Justin Brown. Up next, Legend Race Cars, ready to hit the raceway for their B main. With the starting lineup. Let's go to Bob Fine and Bobby. Ash Steve Halpin, all is not lost for Kyle Soper. Dylan Slepian. Dylan Slepian. lost two points in the exchange. It was a 22 point lead for Soper over Slepian, 501 to 479. It's now a 24 point lead for Soper, 504 
to 480. Inex Legend Race Car B Main. Billy King Jr., the progressive moving. Actually, that's not him. The uh, sign works. Number 54, Billy King Jr. will start from the pole. The outside pole, Ocean Graphics, number 82 out of East Hampton, Kim Danielle. The Delia Sod Farms, number 16, will start third. That's Michael Collier. The Progressive Moving and Storage, number 05, will start fourth. That is Mark Godnick. The provisional for this event is the Hitman Collision, number 14, of Jason Glenister of Calverton. And the Charlie's Famous Hot Dogs of Iceland Terrace, number 81. We'll start sixth. That's Rich Braun. Braun. Green is out. Your winner is in. The provisional, car number 14. Jaden Glenister. Glenister. <laughs> Jaden Glenister. In the infield. What's his name? I almost called him Glenn Genister. Kimberly Danielle leads the way. But she's got the 16 all over her back bumper. Michael Courier, Michael Collier to the inside in car number 16. Collier to the new race lead. Kimberly Danielle runs second. Four laps into this event. Collier pulling away. Not what Kim Danielle wants to see. Halfway this time by. Michael Collier. By about a half a straightaway now over Kim Danielle. Seven laps in. Eight this time by. Here to go this time by for Michael Collier. Wide flag down for Collier. Having a great race. Probably so happy. Robert Henniger made it into the feature. Because when he runs these B mains, he kills them. Checkered will fly for Michael Collier. He's happy. Taking down the win and transferring into tonight's feature event, car number 16, Michael Collier. And your provisional, car number 14, Jaden Glenister.